Hey everyone, today I want to talk about the Colored Rain Alter Ego Palette. I've been pretty much obsessed with this a little bit since I got it. I actually won mine in like a Colored Rain had like a little Instagram um, repost this contest and I won and I was like, oh, I was so excited, I couldn't believe I won. Anyway, um, I've been doing some looks on my Instagram for a while now and I finally can bring you a full review of this product. First of all, love the packaging. It kind of reminds me of the, um, the the Urban Decay's uh, Naked Palette packaging where you have that very sleek, very compact, very slided in, doesn't take up much space um, kind of packaging. I love the bright and bold kind of pop art packaging. Love the eye look here. I had to try that. Um, I love, this is kind of like if you were like the, the Urban Decay Naked Palettes were just too naked for you and you wanted to be creative and artistic. This would be the palette for you. Um, I had a little mishap last night. I actually broke my pink. <laughs> Cried a little bit inside, but I'm okay now. Um, but this is what you get. You get beautiful, beautiful, bright shades. And the great thing about this palette, and you get a mirror too, the, and this little um, protective film. The great, the greatest thing about this palette is that if these, if this top row right here scares the bejesus out of you, you have your neutrals down here. So you have your shimmery, you have your like your shimmery taupe or eggshell, whatever you want to call it, your golden shade, your copper shade, your matte brown shade, your matte brown shade, your plum like shade, and then your dark dark black. And then up here you have your yellow, orange, pink, green, blue, purple. You have the rainbow. This is like my boyfriend said, why do you have a watercolor palette on your makeup dresser? Um, not a watercolor palette. This is the most creative palette I have seen from a makeup company ever. Now these are extremely, extremely pigmented. I mean, just imagine, just imagine this on your face. These colors are going to be just as bright as you see them in here. Yes, you can shear them out. Of course you can shear them out. But when you apply them, they're going to be super opaque. Now, they're so opaque that I was able to spritz my brush a little bit with just a little bit of Fix Plus or even some water and turn all these top colors and even the black into liners. So I had gold liner, yellow liner, pink liner, blue liner, green liner. Did it matter? Super opaque, super easy to use. Oh, excuse me. So I love that it's all in one, that I can pretty much get a whole look. Now you can use primer to make these pop even more, but you really honestly do not need it. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to turn these all into liners. I meant to do that already, but then I got like so overwhelmed that I didn't. So, um, yes, so a lot of these have different, there's different, there's mattes, there's shimmers. You're going to see, I just wanted to get into all that. So anyway, uh, let's start with the yellow. Yellow, super, super, super bright. So if you were looking for a super bright yellow, a matte yellow, and say um, you don't have what you call it, Max Chrome Yellow, this will definitely do. This is very similar to Max Chrome Yellow. Now this is without primer. If you apply this with primer, it's going to be extremely, extremely pop. Extremely going to pop on your face. The next shade we have is the orange, and it's an extremely bright orange. So if you were looking for like that acid orange, that super, super bright orange, this palette has it. Next is oh, my favorite. It's super, 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 super hot pink. Look at that. It's almost like neon. It's almost neon. I feel like I'm at a rave. So um, if you missed out on the neon uh, pink pigment from the Punk Couture collection, you wouldn't even need it if you had this palette. It's that pigmented. It's fantastic. So the next shade we have is a green, and it's a super, super um, emerald green. This is perfect. Sorry, my battery's dying. This is a super, super emerald green, and again, it's almost neon-like. It's super bright, super bold. You can definitely use this as a liner. The next one is a blue. It's a dark blue. So you're starting to get, again, super bright. You can see it in the light. It's just, oh, it's borderline neon. I love it. I can't, I can't say that enough because I've not really seen colors this pigmented in a palette like this before. And these are all matte so far. And the last one is a very rich, very deep, dark purple. And this shade is my favorite because I love purple too. So the pink and the purple are my favorites. Hold on, I didn't get enough because it's not sheer at all. So there you go. You get a super 
bold purple. So you get the colors of the rainbow that are extremely bright. And like I said, if those are a little bit too much for you or you want to buy this palette just for a pop of color on your lid, fret not because you have a whole bottom row that will give you that neutral look that you can then use the top row as your pop of color. So let's start with the shimmery um, nude at the bottom. And I love using this neutral. I love using it on my lid, I love using it to highlight my brow, I love using it on the corner of my eye. I just love using it. It's just one of those colors I want to pop out and just have with me all the time. The next shade is a beautiful and soft gold. It's really, really easy to use. The light it's like, it's really easy to use. Again, this one I really liked it too because of how like metallic and shimmery it was. The next one we have is the copper and this one just blew me away as well really really beautiful by the way I didn't really experience fallout with any of these shades um, I did experience some light staining with the darker colors like the pink the purple the blue but if you use a primer that'll be minimal so use a primer with those colors just to protect your lid then we have the matte brown and this is another color that I could just use all day long in my crease as a, as a liner under my eye really great. So this right here would make a really great summer look. Just those colors together. And the next one, I have to get really close for this one because I want you to see it. Do you see that plum color? How it has that reflection in it? It's such a unique shade. It really is. Like that one, I was like, I was like, I didn't expect that. Because it's a purple, it's a plum shade, but it has a little bit of that reflection. Put that right here. It's not sheer. I'm just... I'm terrible at swatching on my hands sometimes. So, okay. You'll see in the picture swatches. It's much better than you're seeing right here. And then, oh, and you can kind of see that reflection here. And it really translates well on the eye. And last but not least, we have this black. And this black is just, you can use it as a liner. You can use it on, you can use it as a just a shade on your lid. And it's super pigmented even without primer. So you have a lot, a lot of neutrals, a lot, a lot of bright colors. This palette, I would have to say, is fantastic. I highly, highly recommend it if you love yourself some bright colors. If you love colors that you can use as a liner. If you love neutrals. If you love shimmery metallics. If you like a palette that's going to take you throughout the entire year. You have your summer colors. You have winter colors. You have um, spring colors. Your yellows. You can make your own shades. You can mix them together. I loved that I have one of these little mixing rings and I was able to take I was able to take a little bit off the top and just mix them together and they blended effortlessly on the eyelids. I'm I'm just I'm blown away. The only thing I would say the complaint I have is that some of them, like I said, they stain. When I used the pink as a liner and I did not use a primer underneath it, I did have a little bit of a, a little bit of a pink line left on my eye. The black didn't stain when I used it though. Um just the the purple, the blue, the pink had a little bit of staining when I used them as liners and with Without anything on my eye to like prime my eye to keep my eye protected. So that is my review of the Colored Rain Ultra Eagle palette. Palette, by the way, they come with a lipstick. Um, I came with a. I'm looking back because I just had it over here, and it disappeared. I'm so unorganized right now. These come with one lipstick. I believe the choices are Rebel Rain. Um. I think that's it. It's a red shade or socialite and then there's a pink shade and all together comes up 42 so you get a palette and a lipstick for $42. You cannot go wrong. Especially if you wanted to try some bold and bright shades and you wanted to try a colored rain lipstick you get both in one. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the Colored Rain website. I will leave the link below and I will also have um, eye looks I made along with how I did them. What pro what shades I used in this. Thank you so much for watching and please follow me on Instagram. I'm Recycled Stardust.